All righty, here we go. Day two or day one of full practice. Uh, gonna run kind of mid lake, maybe around the dam and stuff. Just focusing in on that area. Yesterday I ran south, uh, caught some fish. Just uh, went through, started looking at my maps and everything. Found some shoals, found some docks. And uh, we're going to see if that pans out a little bit more today. Try to hone in on that pattern. See, I mean, you can come up to any dock and you'll see tons of fish swimming around. A lot of little fish. Um, so plenty, plenty for the bass to eat. Uh, <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll just see how it goes. I think throwing a little bit bigger of a presentation, something that's not going to fit in that little perch mouth. You know, they'll, they'll hit it maybe, but they, gonna, they ain't going to grab it. I think that's going to be a key thing for me. And, you know, so that's what I'm going to focus on throwing to make sure I get the bites that I need that will actually take to weigh in. So let's, uh, let's get out here. Let's enjoy this day. Enjoy a, a beautiful sunrise like that. Being on the water. Oh, love this. Let's go. So the one difference I did there was I casted directly at this point there. Ran it parallel versus kind of bringing it to, to and from. Just felt weird. Never felt them pick it up or anything. Just kind of felt weird, so kind of felt mushy. So I set the old hook. I wonder if he held on to it longer because I'm using a little bit lighter of a weight. I tried to make that cast on the verge of where it's clear and where it's not clear. Because up there I can see and they can probably really see me really well too. Alright guys, I am currently sitting in 54 feet of water. Throwing a top water, and I just missed one. The fish are schooled up on some shad or something that are out here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at look at my screen right there, guys. You can see it. They're just wrecking the shad directly beneath me. Look at that. That's bass wrecking shed, 100%. So they haven't pushed them to the surface yet. Hopefully a 6XD, it looks like they're at about 20 feet down there. So maybe this 6XD will get down deep and, oh, there he is. Oh, I ran into him though. <laughs> Oh, that felt. Yep, foul hook striper. Well, you're not that foul hooked. Well, now I know what was schooling out there. And I thought y'all's was bass. You're wrong kind of bass. <laughs> I mean, I saw him pop in all that shed and everything. I was like, oh, this is it. This is it. No wonder I hadn't been, no wonder I hadn't been catching them because they in 70 feet of water. <laughs> with a 6XD. Oh, why couldn't y'all be bass? Keep going with this or now just go back to our regular scheduled program. Well, at least I finally got to catch a, catch a fish on the old David Fritz speed stick. Been wanting to see how well this rod would perform. I mean, you're talking about launching. Look at that. Boom. Launches it forever. And I could see them on my graph when I was looking at them. They're about 20 feet down. So I knew if I could get this 6XD anywhere in the vicinity of them. Oh, geez. Right freaking behind me. Right freaking behind me. 
I knew it. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Come on. Come on. There he is. Oh, you missed it, you turd. Come on. 70 feet of water. 70 feet of water, top water. Thanks for letting me know, bud. Okay. A little shout out to uh, Alton Jones for showing me this little trick on uh, Instagram because I pay attention and uh, basically found a way to replicate that. If you can see, thanks Alton. Good idea. Alrighty, y'all. That concludes practice. All right, let's look at some of the things that we're gonna start off with tomorrow. We're gonna start off on some points. Got some deep crank, just basically about one point for tomorrow. And then from there, we're gonna go docks. Let me talk to you about that real fast. All right, so back here at Smith Mountain Campground. It's a pretty cool campground. You know, it's really close in proximity to Pembroke boat ramp number nine. So it allows you to launch mid lake you know, it's not on the water, but that's not something you need, especially when you can tow there. It's a real quick tow, maybe takes uh, five minutes, maybe. No, okay, it takes a little bit longer, five minutes. Anywhere from five to ten. It was real quick to get there. It takes no time. And uh, as you can see here, I basically got camper, boat, truck over here. You can see that uh, basically everything fits in a campsite. So that's really cool. So if you're looking for a place to come visit Smith Mountain uh, Lake, Come check out Smith Mountain Campground. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool place. A lot of friendly people. Uh, some people that are here kind of long term, um, but then a lot of uh, people that are coming in, coming in and going. And they're really great bathrooms. My goodness, some of the best bathrooms out of any campsite I've ever been to. You get your own little stall, your own little uh, closed door with a toilet and sink in there. So you do everything that you need to do inside of there. But let's talk about how the uh, practice went. All right, guys. So. What I concluded from practice was um, one of the only ways that I can catch fish on this lake at this current moment are, are docks. Pretty much any time I ran a dock pattern, I caught fish. Fish are definitely suspended. Matter of fact, one of my best fish that I caught, I caught by fishing a spoon in about 25 feet of water around a dock. So if that's not a technique you've tried, give it a go. Um, I didn't get it on film because basically in practice, I was driving around. So yeah, that was my uh, my best fish. I mean, that thing was probably six pounds. I didn't even weigh it. It was heavy, gorged up on shad. These, that's what these fish are feeding on. Uh, green pumpkins kind of been my my go-to color for this this week. I mean, there are bait fish everywhere. I even got on a striper in like 70 feet of water. And let me tell you, you know, there's so many times that I've done these tournaments to where I haven't had enough practice time you know i just needed that one or two days extra to really hone in on a pattern and you know when i've had a few days of pre-fishing to understand kind of what's going on with the fishery what's going on with the weather you know i feel like i've been able to prepare a little bit better so going into tomorrow i am very excited about the possibilities so you know i was able to utilize google earth on my phone and start looking at particular things that I'm gonna to hit tomorrow. Particular docks I was looking for um, are basically some of your larger docks. I'm trying to find docks that cast a larger shade footprint. Um, today, my biggest fish came off of a rather large dock. It was a marina dock. So that's kind of what I honed in on. And, and, and then I started saying, okay, let me look at Google Earth and start really picking those things apart. Um, and that's kind of what I was doing. I was sitting here uh, in the hot sun, I actually put my uh, wind shade or window shade that goes in front of your truck. I put that over me so that I could sit here at my console and work. And uh, that, kept, that kept me cool while I was sitting there scrolling through my phone uh, doing that. So uh, 
maybe I'll reenact that for you so you get an idea of what it looked like. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm really excited about tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if I'm still smiling by then. But either way, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna have a good time. Got a co-angler who I think is also a subscriber by the name of Patrick Lambert uh, riding with me tomorrow. So you know, boats uh, boats running good. Everything's you know good. I, I, like I said, we're gonna run docks. We're gonna run docks all day long. Got bluebird skies. 94 degree heat. I think is what it's supposed to be. So. You know, I'm extremely excited. I really am. It's nice going in knowing that you've got a key, very key pattern that you can key on, and you know that's what I'm. I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping it pans out, and you know we can get, get on a good limit. Stay tuned for the tournament footage, which is going to be the next video in this series. So, as always, guys, don't back up, don't back down. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.